You see me strong because of those things I eat. They, they feed my body properly and they make my body healthy. I enjoy agriculture because that's where I get most of my food. I have a variety of crops for the diet of my children to keep them healthy. My name is Joannis Matwenga. Uh, clearly at the moment, the Zambian food basket is challenged. People only think of uh, the maize, the shima, with whatever uh, they eat it with as the only food. My name is Dora Celia. I am currently the Minister of Agriculture uh, for Zambia. Food is an important part of uh, an everyday life. It, it should be enjoyed. My name is Daisy Piri. I am a mother of three children. Sorry, cut. It was a deliberate government policy at that time, both colonial and post-independence, to introduce maize as the uh, number one crop uh, in the country. Uh, there was a feeling that uh, everybody should just be eating uh, one type of food in Zambia. Since we have grown up eating those things, it is quite difficult to change. It gives you that feeling that you have eaten, you are full. It's quite comforting, that feeling. And now we've realized that uh, it's not just uh, a threat to food security, but also to nutrition, which is the most important. In fact, my favorite words are that I don't want to be the minister of maize. I want to be the minister of agriculture in Zambia. Personally, I, I grew up in a in a rural setup, there you find a very, very big variety of vegetables. And the biggest thing I learned from my old man, he could do most of his business in gardening, which is fresh vegetables and the green maize. And he could manage to take us to school and keep his family well. So when I moved to Lusaka, you find the same kind of vegetables almost every day. We've realized that uh, if the country is going to go forward in terms of agriculture development, but also in terms of f nutrition, we have to diversify. My favorite meal is shima and the Chinese wrap with peanut butter. Well, I like that. <laughs> because there is too much nutrition in that. <laughs> Seconded by sour milk. So according to a particular season, you get plenty of certain vegetables and they become cheaper. So the market is really a challenge because we don't have the stable price. Sometimes you just cannot afford to buy certain things that you need to supplement your diet. We have to give the citizens a choice. We have to give them a choice in terms of access to food and uh, in, in, in terms of nutritious food. My favorite meal would consist of uh, beans. I love beans. I like a good cut of, of, of red meat. And um, I also like uh, uh, nshima. The first priority I do, I want, is to see what is on the table for the health of my family. I changed my diet drastically. I got my wake-up call when once I had gestational diabetes and high blood pressure at the same time. And it was, that was quite a scare for me. When you have a variety of crops on the table, it means you are preventing some diseases in your body. It helps body building, so it will help your, it will help your family. People need to be more sensitized about uh, the variety of foods that they can, they can take, other than just eating shima. What do I eat? I eat potatoes, I eat rice, uh, I love vegetables, I love beans actually, you know, I think beans could solve a lot of nutrition problems uh, for our countries. 
Personally, I first heard the word crop diversification when I was about 13. I remember government always talking about it, but clearly it hasn't happened. The e voucher system is helping us a little, not more. The majority are not benefiting. Except now, we are having smart subsidies. We are giving the farmer choices. We're going to subsidize other crops. Yeah, we are looking forward to see the government coming in to assist in the farmers. Create markets for us. That's the only way the, farm, the, the, the government can help the farmer. Because we are taking agriculture as, as business, but we are, we are scouting for markets. It's not talk. Let's have a roadmap. How do we really move this country from maize to cassava to rice to sorghum? When I look at my farm, the way I've done it, I'm really proud. Because I feel that's where my home now is. So food to me just means dignity, it means having access to life. It means uh, uh, wanting to provide a choice to somebody to have that access and choice of food for the betterment of their health. The practice of good nutrition begins with me as a mother and as a wife, teaching my children how to eat a balanced diet and how to eat healthy. If they grow up with that, then even in the future, I see a healthier nation.